Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the GNSS Performance Monitoring System. I'm Charles Thornbury, consultant at DW International. The GNSS Performance Monitoring System has been developed by DW International to provide states with a real-time monitoring capability and to help them comply with ICAO Annex 10 guidance. ICAO Annex 10 requires states approving GNSS-based operations to record GNSS data for incident investigation. The GPMS is a dedicated solution for monitoring and recording GNSS data and it has already been deployed and tested in service. The GPMS can be installed at an individual airport or networked across an entire state or region from a central control station. It comprises of hardware, off-the-shelf antenna receiver combinations, which DW assist in procuring, surveying for the location and installing. The raw feed, unadulterated by any manufacturer firmware, is fed into the software client, which you see here. We have a test antenna located near Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and what you're seeing here is a live feed data presented in a variety of ways. The data is recorded and can be played back using the same client. The data can be presented in a variety of ways, all of which are user configurable. Here we have the live data feed coming from our test antenna near Amsterdam, with just a small sample of possible presentations. On the top left we have the sky plot of satellites visible from the antenna location. On the top right we have the time dilution of precision chart, TDOP. On the bottom right we have a scatter chart showing the northeast position error. A little red cross is added every few seconds and we can see the cumulative results over a period of time. We can also zoom in and then zoom out to get a wider look. On the bottom left hand side is a carrier to noise ratio variation chart showing the carrier to noise ratio of each of the visible satellites. This information can help determine the level of ionospheric interference which has an impact on GNSS and therefore GNSS based operations especially during the upcoming solar max and in equatorial regions. The GPMS allows users to perform real-time monitoring of GNSS performance at multiple locations and records and stores this data. This data can then be played back using the same tools shown here and allows users to investigate the data in the event of an incident. As well as monitoring and recording GNSS data and allowing for ionospheric interference monitoring, the GPMS can also be used to detect instances of signal interference whether intentional or unintentional. Clicking on the Track Signals tab, we can see the information relating to each of the satellites currently visible from the antenna receiver combination we have near Amsterdam. Depending on the model of receiver and antenna you have installed, sometimes you can also see GLONASS satellites and SBAS satellites such as EGNOS. Switching over from the local area monitor to the wide area monitor, we are able to overlay um, predicted RAIM availability over a user configured region or user selected aerodromes or waypoints. This is using test data as you can see but all of the parameters are user configurable. The tool allows playback and allows the user to determine the integrity levels that they need to hit. This can be further adapted to allow the users to distribute NOTAMs or other update services to their airspace users to alert them to potential RAIM outages. This can be seen as a companion tool to our GNSS RAIM RMP prediction service. Well, thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information, please visit our website at www.dwint.com.